doctors can't look directly at females' genitals, Bahrain. Bahrain is a small Middle Eastern island country in the Persian Gulf. On the island of Bahrain, there is a law that governs the way in which male doctors may interact with female patients. While a male doctor may legally perform examinations on a female and legally examine a female's genitals, a male doctor is not legally allowed to actually look directly at the female patient's genitals during a physical exam. In order to still be able to perform his duties as a doctor, the doctor is only able to view a female patient's private area through a reflection in a mirror. Men may not have sex with male animals, Lebanon. A strange law from the country of Lebanon, and like many on this list, a law whose validity may be difficult to ascertain. In Lebanon, men can apparently legally have sex with animals, but the animals that the man chooses to engage in relations with must be female. If a man chooses to engage in sexual relations with a male animal, then he is committing a crime that carries a heavy price, bringing a punishment of death. Whether this law has actually ever needed to be enforced or not, it is definitely an interesting one to be sure. Topless saleswomen are allowed in stores that sell tropical fish, Liverpool, England. England sure has some interesting and ingenious ways to drum up business, especially in their tropical fish sector. While topless saleswomen are illegal to employ in almost every business venture in England and in almost every city in England, in Liverpool, topless saleswomen are actually legal to employ, but get this, only in stores that sell tropical fish. A total WTF moment if ever there was one. If owning and cultivating an aquarium in Liverpool is your thing, then you are in the right place to buy some fish. Otherwise, you are fresh out of luck not sure how anyone even came up with this law. A woman's mother must be present when she consummates her marriage, Colombia. Not going to lie, this law is a little bit creepy, but like all of the laws on this list, the actual truthfulness of it cannot entirely be verified. That said, it has been reported via numerous sources that in the city of Cali in Colombia, a woman may have sex, but the only man she may have sex with is her husband. Furthermore, and here's the weird part, the first time the newlywed couple engage in consummating their marriage, the woman's mother must be in the room and be a witness to the act. Not sure about this one in so many ways. No PDA, Dubai. In many parts of the world, loving couples will engage in various forms of public displays of affection, from the socially acceptable, like a small kiss on the cheek or lips to maybe a more passionate but brief embrace. But sometimes couples feel the need to engage in outright sex in public, as we've seen on this site before. In Dubai, however, any sort of public display of affection, even the slightest kiss on the cheek, can result in 10 days of jail time for each person involved in the act. If you're caught intoxicated while being affectionate in public, you could face up to a year in prison. A man can kill his cheating wife, Uruguay. Here is a law from Uruguay that if enacted could inspire some pretty brutal revenge films. While adultery is nothing new, and causes all sorts of damage in relationships, in Uruguay, the damage can become legally deadly. In Uruguay, if a man is caught cheating with another man's wife, then it is totally within the scorned husband's legal right to kill both of the adulterers. If murder is too severe, then the jilted husband can always choose option B which would be to castrate the man and cut off the woman's nose. All perfectly legal. Keep your pants on, married Uruguayans. No playing chess while having sex, Tallinn, Estonia. Chess is an extremely cerebral game that humans have been playing for centuries, and it requires the participants undecided attention. Sex is an activity that humans have been engaging in since the dawn of time and is also an activity that should warrant the participants' undivided attention. Therefore, it makes sense that in the Baltic nation of Estonia's capital city, Tallinn, there is a law that prohibits playing a game of chess while engaging in sex. However bizarre the law may be, in reality, it makes a lot of sense, though it's unclear exactly why there were enough copulating couples playing chess to warrant such a law. No sex on the beach, Spain. Spain is a country known for a relaxed atmosphere, beautiful cities, beautiful people and beautiful beaches. You would think that in a country such as Spain, 
the laws regarding sex would be as progressive as the nation's laws concerning drugs. Shockingly that is not always the case. While sex in public is uniformly illegal everywhere, and justifiably so for the most part, Spain takes couples having sex on the beach very seriously, and though there is no violence involved in the punishment, the guilty parties can face fines as high as $90,000 US a high price to pay to get sand in your ass. No sex on a parked motorcycle, England. Another weird sex law from England. Motorcycles are pretty sexy. Take one for a ride and the adrenaline rush can get other things stirring in you if you're riding with a partner you're interested in having sex with. Be careful where you park that bike though, if you feel like a little extra ride is in order once the engine is turned off. In London, having sex on a parked motorcycle in the city is illegal. Much like the topless tropical fish sales women, this is a really random law, and raises the question, is sex on a moving motorcycle legal? No sexual relations with a mother and daughter simultaneously, Bolivia. While the impetus for this law may be a staple of the adult entertainment industry, or even a fantasy for guys dating a girl with a good-looking mother, this law which comes courtesy of the city of Santa Cruz in Bolivia, is most definitely for the best. In Santa Cruz, it is illegal for a man to engage in any sexual relations with a woman and that woman's daughter at the same time. Sorry to burst anyone's bubble, but the law seems to make perfect sense. No need to cause unnecessary familial strife. This would probably be a good law to enforce everywhere. A female virgin cannot get married, Guam. Apparently on the unincorporated Pacific island of Guam, it is illegal for a female virgin to get married. So accordingly, on Guam. It is only logical that there are men whose full-time occupation involves traveling the island in order to take young women's virginity to prepare them for marriage. These men are also paid for their services. This law was obviously invented by a man, and is probably most men's dream job on the island, but in reality, there isn't much to corroborate this law, and like most on this list, it should really be taken with a grain of salt. No full frontal and photo booths, Sweden. Sweden is known for its cold northern climate, but it is also known for its beautiful men and women and a very relaxed atmosphere when it comes to sexuality. Don't let that lax atmosphere regarding sex fool you though. While there may be adult entertainment on cable television, be careful what you get up to in a photo booth. While you may take topless pictures of yourself in a photo booth, taking shots of full frontal is a big no-no and can land you in some serious hot water, which, in Stockholm in January, may not actually be all that bad. No sex with the lights on, Budapest, Hungary. Another country known for its laissez-faire attitude towards sex, and also adult entertainment, Hungary seems a highly unlikely place to find an absurd law governing sexual relations, but alas, here we are. In the nation's capital, Budapest. It is illegal to have sex with the lights on, with anyone, including your husband or wife. Maybe the law is aiming to save on electricity, or to keep people from peeking out their windows, or maybe the law is just attempting to keep marriages together, and as we age, so do our bodies sort of thing. Who knows, but it seems strange. No masturbating allowed, Indonesia. From some weird sex laws around the globe, to some utterly scary ones. In Indonesia it has been reported numerous times that the punishment for masturbation is death by decapitation if caught. This law could realistically affect the entire teenage to elderly population, so it seems like an extremely harsh punishment for something that many people most likely do. While the decapitation punishment has been thrown about the internet a lot, there has also been a report that under the criminal code in Indonesia, the actual maximum punishment for masturbation is 32 months in prison. It may not be decapitation, but still, 32 months in prison is pretty extreme. A woman may kill her cheating husband and his mistress, Hong Kong. Here is another brutal, revenge film inspiring law regarding adultery, this time courtesy of Hong Kong. In Hong Kong a wife who has caught her husband cheating is allowed to legally kill her cheating husband as long as she only does so with her bare hands. The woman who the husband was having the extramarital tryst with. However, 
may fare even worse because of the adultery. The scorned wife may kill the husband's lover, in any which way the wife chooses. Again, another vicious punishment for adultery, so do not get caught with someone else's spouse in Hong Kong.